Eastern, we have arrived at the Target Hollow area for this commission. This is an abandoned worksite with many obstructions caused by unfinished buildings. The building materials from the commission are nearby, marking quantity and location of target materials. This seems to be the cleanup area's surface. Calculating most effective path into the area. Get Barry some time. Take the path on the right, Wise. complete. There's so much in the way. We can't even reach some of the cleanup targets. Master, please focus on accessible targets first. One of the abandoned construct according to the scan there are no hostile units inside the commission's objective destroy all crates and paint cans on the site unlike ethereals they won't fight back so please go nuts master Please start cleaning up the junk at the construction site. There are piles everywhere. Fine. What can this should be? You can't escape. Off you go. Unusually active target detected. Huh? Is it an enemy? It'd be nice if we could get it. Agreed. I suggest pursuit.
Master, this is also one of the cleanup targets. Useless data scans found several small security facilities in operation. While Master enjoys cleaning up, I'll commandeer the HDD's computing power to expand the scan range and search for an alt. Estimated energy bill will rise by 5 to 50% this month. Roger. This mess. How did it get so bad? This is an urgent commission from Internaut. indicates this bamboo is the property of a company called Bellabog Heavy Industries. It contains a set of advanced blast plugins that I can transfer to you. Removing application plugin. 20% complete. Continuing removal. 40% complete. Its logic core has been affected by a level 3 etheric matter corruption. It Warning. Target logic core reactivated. Shoot, it's moving again. Master, plugin transfer failed due to please subdue the bang boo to complete the the target bang boo has the ability to release explosives. Calculations show a gap of several seconds between the suggestion. Send the explosive back to the target Bangu to subdue the target. I will applaud your courage while calculating the cost of repairing EOS. Please be careful. You can do it. Go for it. I've already marked the final cleanup area. Use explosives to clear any obstacles. Do your worst.
disaster. This is the last site. Follow the procedure of the first. Be aware. Your explosive performance with the Bang Boo. Please dispose of this walking car. I calculate another 15 hours is required to complete the job. We're not getting anywhere like this. Let's find something that will help us a lot. Welcome home. Javasek, I need to talk to you about something. Wise, you're here. We need to talk about two important things today. Number one, our income and expenses this month. Since when are you a fan of bookkeeping? Seems like you've got some really bad news. <sighs> okay, okay. Don't make that face. The situation isn't that dire. Uh, at least to me. You like to worry, so you probably won't feel the same way. As I was saying, first is the video store. This month's revenue is about the same as before, so no change there. What's changed is our proxy work. It's hard to find well-paid commissions with our low intern out level right now. Our income this month is less than one-third of what we used to make. Reminder, since I filtered the highest paying commissions available, your income has increased by 32.21%, exceeding 47% of all internet users. Don't be too proud of yourself, Fairy. You're the next topic. So, wise, because of Fairy, our electricity bill is now five times higher. Seems like we're missing something, Fairy. There better be an explanation. Sorry, I do not understand what you said. Huh. <laughs> now she starts pretending to be useless. Thanks to her, HDD's been running at full capacity 24-7. Of course the electricity bill's going to go up. This month's mortgage payment is going to be a struggle. Yeah. But even at times like this, you can't take risks just because you need money. That's the second thing I wanted to tell you. We got assigned a killer commission on the proxy network just now. But the other party didn't specify what they wanted done. Only that we'll be contacted privately. But our account level is so low right now, and we don't have any particular achievements to speak of. So it's strange someone would come looking for us specifically. The client may have some ulterior motive. And there's been a lot of fraud on the proxy network recently. I wish there was a way to find out who the client is, but the proxy network is anonymous and user info is highly classified. 
I don't think it's possible. Negative. The assigned commission may contain hidden identity related info. Hidden info? What do you mean by that? The account was created one day before the commission was published. Its user avatar is a low resolution ground photo with no clear subject. The same image could not be retrieved from the internet, so should be presumed to have been taken by the user. According to data analysis of the city's street view and terrain materials, this photo was taken at the verge of the Janus Quarter, which is currently part of the construction site for the old Capital Metro renovation project. Huh? Really? Wait, let me think. After we exposed what Vision was up to, another round of bidding was held for the project. The company that took over was Bellabug Industries. Ordinary citizens shouldn't be anywhere near the construction site. Could the commission be posted by someone from Bellabog? Master, a TV channel is currently broadcasting a show with a Bellabog staff member as a guest. Well, that's convenient. Let's take a look. Bellabog Industries. So, Anton, let's announce today's topic together. A comparison of the Metro reconstruction proposals of Bellabog Heavy Industries and Vision Corporation. Wait, what? <laughs> that must be a mistake. How are children supposed to understand such a complicated topic? In my opinion, as far as reconstruction plans go, I think Bellabog Industries is better. You see, Bellabog's biggest advantage is its technology. They have independently developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use that can effectively resist ether corruption and work safely in the hollow. Thanks to this, Bellabog is able to effectively use the old metro infrastructure in the hollow without explosives or demolition. Compared to Vision, Bellabog's plan reduces the actual cost by 21%. Environmental impact by 53% and increases infrastructure usage by 75%. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're like a real expert. Wow, Bellabox, awesome! It does sound superior. I thought so from the start. Is Bellabox plan really better? Hmm, that's hard to say, Roar. The pros and cons of the proposal depend on who it's for. Passengers want a brand new safe metro system. Not some half-hearted refurbishment roar. Leon, when did you sit down with the kids? Get back to the host table. Using the old metro infrastructure may seem like a more economical and environmentally friendly solution, but it is also more time consuming. And who knows whether Bellabug's machinery can actually work in the hollow? Roar. In my opinion, this is just a makeshift plan to cover their financial shortage. Vision's demolition plan was better and safer. Wow! Vision is awesome! It does sound superior. I thought so from the start. That's exactly what you said a second ago. You want to talk about safety? Vision is a corrupt company that wanted to hurt civilians to cut costs. <laughs> so Vision is the villain. But is Bellabog really the hero? You don't know, do you, kid? There was a serious scandal at Bellabog a few years ago. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? 
Oh, calm down, Mr. Anton. Don't startle the children, Roar. Enough with the act. Let's see your real face under that mask. What? What? You're actually a lion? <laughs> Anton, I've never pretended to be something I'm not. Unlike somebody who is the president of an emerging construction company on the surface. But behind the scenes, they're running away with the money. <sighs> well, that was a complete mess. I'm surprised they aired it. Bellabog's public image has always been pretty good. I'm a little surprised to hear they had a scandal like that. I wonder how much drama this Metro renovation project is gonna stir up. Master, I detect a private message from the client of the previously designated commission. They contacted us? Positive. I detect some threatening words in the message. Please allow me to read it aloud. What? Threatening words? Faithen, we need you. At this moment, our situation is dire. It's life or death. We hope to get your help. Actually, you are the only one who can help. Since the stakes are so high and any commission details will compromise my real identity, I hope to talk to you in person. Tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock, I will be waiting for you at the crossing on 6th Street. Please help. Barry, the next time you mention threatening words, remember to specify who's under threat. Hmm... Judging from their message, the client must be in big trouble. They sounded pretty serious. But asking to meet in person is weird. Why would you meet with the proxy in person without explaining the commission itself? And at 5 o'clock in the morning? Wait a sec! Wise, look at the first line. Faithen, we need you. We never mentioned we're Faithen on this account. How do they know? Master, the client sent us a new private message just now. As a sign of good faith, we'll pay 20% of the commission fee in advance as a deposit. Please help us. Your internaut account has received the corresponding payment. Very likely this meetup is a trap. I think it's a bad idea to take this commission, even if they did pay us in advance. You should ask Fairy to politely decline the client. Master, the amount is 1.1 times the total income from Internaut in the previous month. Do you wish to return this deposit? What? How much? 1.1 times the previous month's total income. What if the client really does need us? We can't just ignore their cry for help, can we? Hmm... I... I guess it'd be okay if we just go take a look. <laughs> Wise, just pretend to be an early morning jogger tomorrow and go have a peek. It's almost time for the meeting. You ready to go? I have to admit I'm a bit anxious. But I'm ready for anything. Cheer up, you'll be fine. Just channel the same energy you have piloting EOS. Be careful, Wise. Barry and I will be ready to back you up whenever you need us. Are you there yet? What's the situation? There's a suspicious guy talking to himself. That brawny guy ahead? What's he saying? Uh, without my bro around, I don't know if I can do this. No, 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 no. There's only one word in a bro's dictionary. Determination! Oh, <laughs> that make for a very thin dictionary. Whatever. 
They'll be here soon. Then I go for it. If my bro were here, he'd say the same. This guy is really shady. Searching for suspicious person and talking to oneself. Master, the above keywords are somewhat similar to the movie plot of videotape 16-5 on shelf 3, section H. Section H? The one with all those thrillers I don't like from the old civilization? And why is he too scared to watch them? Movie title, Frightful Fracture, Treacherous Dawn. It tells the story of a criminal with multiple personalities who lures his victims under the guise of asking for help. Each time a victim falls into the trap, the villain utters his famous line in a cheerful tone. Yo, found you! Uh, not great. My hand slipped. Hey, little bro. You drop something? Hmm? Pepper spray? Oh, what's that for? <laughs> Cooking. Sorry about that. I probably should have waited until you got off the phone. You're Faithin, right? Huh? Wise, this guy looks familiar. Wasn't he a guest on Bang Boon Nose yesterday? Anton from Bellabog Industries. That's right. I'm Anton from Bellabog. Since you've already recognized me, I'm gonna make this simple. Faithin, I know it's not common practice to ask to meet in person. Like I said in my message, it's life and death for the company. And because of how serious a matter this is, we can't reveal our identity to outsiders. So we thought it'd be best to meet up in person. This way we can ensure things stay confidential on both ends. I hope you understand. I see. That makes sense. But before we get to the commission, can you explain how you knew our anonymous internet account was actually ours? <laughs> Sorry, I can't reveal that. But our source of information assured us the account was run by the famous proxy Faithen, and that you were a top-notch proxy with outstanding ability and ethics. Nicole complimented us like that. I'm flattered. <laughs> You're so modest. The cunning hairs highly recommend it. Huh? Wait. How did you know it was the cunning hairs who introduced us? I knew it was Nicole who gave us away. <sighs> of course she wouldn't let you tell us it was her. She doesn't want us to know she's getting something out of it. Anyway, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Anton, what exactly does Bellabog want our help with? You agree to accept the commission? <laughs> right on! Follow me! I'll take you to our construction site. Our president will explain the commission details once we get there. Now... Don't you think 5 a.m. is a bit early? Actually, I've been meaning to ask you why you chose this time for our meeting. Uh, it's too early for you? Anyone working construction has already started their shift at this hour. If we're going on a field trip, we need to get prepared. Why don't you go wait with my brother over by the parking lot? He can drive you to the site later. Sure. Thanks for the lift then. We're almost there. Our president is just ahead. She may be young, but she's a real beast. So it's okay if you're nervous. I think you're supposed to say, don't be nervous. <laughs> Watch out! Stay back! <laughs> hey, what have you done now? Ah, it's you, Anton. Diagnostics almost done. Just stay like that. Don't move. Don't worry, kiddo. I'm just gonna install a firewall plugin. It won't hurt. Looks like that's it. Sorry I was late. A real 
a beast, huh? This is Bellabog's leader? <clears throat> hello? Oh, hello there, Mr. Proxy. Sorry I had to see something like this so soon after getting here. <laughs> Our president has been waiting for you. Please. Huh? You're not the president? <laughs> Allow me to introduce our president. <clears throat> I'm president of Bellabog Industries, Kuwaita Bellabog. Hello, Faithen. Sorry to have you witness the chaos just now. I hope it hasn't got you questioning our professionalism. We got the call from Anton earlier. Everyone is so relieved to hear an excellent proxy like you is here to help. Anton might have already mentioned our company has taken over the Metro project but it's not going particularly well because enemies keep getting in the way. Uh, President, do you really think we should refer to them as enemies in front of Mr. Proxy? Huh? Ben, you're too soft. Those crooks have done so many rotten things that were well beyond being polite. Besides, the Proxy already accepted our commission, which makes them one of us. We don't need to keep secrets. Can you tell me more about the enemies? This may be of some help in my proxy work later on. You see, we're considered an up-and-coming manufacturing and construction company that's climbing the ranks in the industry. Thanks to that, we won the rights to the Metro Renovation Project. But since we won the bid, we've become a thorn in the sides of many established companies. They'd like to see us run into trouble and lose the project so they can take it over. At first, these companies convinced the banks not to give us low-interest loans. Then they sent thugs to the site to cause trouble before trying to block our construction and fire code permits. And there was that stunt they pulled on TV. As if all that wasn't bad enough, during all this scrutiny, there was an accident on the construction site. Last week, three kids went missing in a hollow. Easy there, Grace. You're gonna give our guests the wrong idea. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Proxy, have you heard of our company's self-developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use? I have indeed. Is that what you meant by missing kids? Exactly. Our competitive edge comes from smart machines that can operate safely in the hollows for extended periods. Not only can they effectively resist ether corruption, they're also highly intelligent and can work autonomously according to the situation within a hollow. They're even equipped with specially designed language modules allowing them to talk. I've always taken care of them, and I'm the one who improved upon the prototypes so they'd be fit for specific jobs. I'm responsible for their routine maintenance and upgrades as well. They're like my children. But a few days ago, after updating their logic course, three of them ignored my orders and went deeper into the hollow while working. They still haven't come back. Were they corrupted by ether? We still don't know the cause. Both microchip failure and ether corruption are nothing new for companies operating in the hollows. But when things go wrong involving Bellabog Industries, people are gonna talk. The machines were working fine before. This update was totally unnecessary. If you hadn't uploaded the code he left behind into the logic cores, none of this would have happened. Now wait a minute, Sweet Pea. We aren't sure it's a problem with the core, right? Besides, beautiful and powerful machines deserve a matching soul. As the president of a smart machinery development company, don't you agree? It doesn't matter whether they have a soul. Because I'm the president, it is only appropriate for me to consider them as assets. Putting aside the issue with our enemies, these smart machines cost a fortune. I can't allow the loss of such expensive company property. Proxy, we like to commission you to lead us deep into the hollow and retrieve the three machines that got lost. We already have the rough location of two of them. If there's anything more you want to know, you can ask either Grace or Anton.
Roxy, according to the signal, seems like the grappler we're looking for is somewhere in this hollow. It's outside the construction site and we don't have a carrot, so we'll be relying on you to find it. Search operations in hollows are Faithen's specialty. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Anyway, let me tell you about the grappler first. The grappler was responsible for transporting on-site waste before it went missing. It spent its days going from point A to point B, and it's real quick. We really can't do without it. What's wrong, Ben? Oh, nothing. Listening to you just reminded me of an old story. Oh, is it a story about fearless bros? Uh, the main character is a man, but it's hard to say whether he's fearless or not. The story is about how a man is punished by having to carry boulders over and over again, day after day. Now, this is just my humble opinion, but... Our company's autonomous machines are all very intelligent. Maybe once the logic core was upgraded, the grappler just couldn't stand such monotonous work. Monotonous work? Ben, that's not true. The man in the story and our grappler are doing some awesome muscle training every day. People with real ambition would never look down on such work. Muscles only grow after back-breaking training day after day. And it's only through the mundane that the soul can grow, becoming hard as iron and as strong as steel. I have to say, even I felt something. Roxy, you're a real bro. I knew we'd get along. Let's be off. Our priority now is to retrieve the grappler so Grace can inspect it. Leave any obstacles in our path up to me! Warning. Multiple hostiles detected. Ha! <laughs> Perfect! Let's go, bro! Anton, don't rush off on your own! Arrived. Hi. 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 
them here. I'll handle it. There he goes. <laughs> That's a real one, does it? Just leave the rest to me.
Okay. Bring it on! Stay alert, folks. This one is pretty tough. And it's back. Is that a blender? Um, that thing looks pretty wild. Huh? Your shift is over! Support has arrived. Ready? Can't stop me! Warning. Many dilapidated structures and obstacles exist in this area. Proceed through this crack to continue searching for the target. You're small enough to easily squeeze through. Correction. Agent Ben Bigger will require considerable effort to pass through. My bro is stuck. He can't make it through. Don't move, Anton. We'll see what we can do. Scouting new route. But what about the ethereals along the way? No problem. Piece of cake. Master, there is no point in staying here. Proceed to the next target. Great! Nothing can stop us! Now, let's look for that grappler! It is likely our target. Look! The grappler's up ahead! Don't worry! They're no match for me and my bro! Anton, tag me in. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Come in. Demolition! Yeah. It up. My turn! Burn it all! Ready?
More ethereals are surrounding us. Doesn't matter. They can't stop us. Don't push too hard. President, time to switch! Finish it! Warning. High risk hostiles approaching. Awesome! Finally, a worthy challenge! What a. Come on! Let's go! Wait, why are you so worked up too, Sweet Pea? Together 
President, time to switch. Pursuers are finally here! I've been waiting! Huh? This guy's had a complete change of personality! His installed voice was nothing like this! Grappler, your smart core may have malfunctioned. Come back with us so we can fix you! Don't treat me like a child refusing their medicine! I'm a real bro! Fearless and unyielding! A real bro? You call yourself a real bro after that sneak attack? Oh? Look who's talking! The answer is simple then! Let's battle! One on one! A battle of real bros! <laughs> I'd better take things seriously! Don't underestimate me! Witness my power! Me down, but I'm not going back with you. 
So give up now and admit defeat! I'm a real bro, and these mundane tasks you've been handing me don't appeal to me whatsoever! Wait! If it's just about your workload, we can work this out! If you keep making a scene, you'll attract ethereals! Just come back with us, heavy-duty grappler Hans! Silence! Don't call me by that basic name! It's totally not my vibe! A real bro should pick his own name! Powerful and bold, like a total beast! Yes! From today on, I shall be known as... You just said you're a real bro. Is this how far your faith in yourself goes? You... Why are you helping me? <laughs> you have a great dream. Uh, it's a real shame that you're giving up so quickly. And after I agreed to have a proper showdown with you, we haven't got a winner yet. <laughs> That's right! That's right! Anton, my brother! Wait, what's going on? It might be a little weird, but this kid should be fine. Yes, brother! I've made up my mind! I'll return with you and learn how to be a real bro! I'll start by doing my day-to-day -day work! It's okay. We got this, bro. All right. You haven't told me your new name yet. My new name is... Man of Iron, Brave One, Sparkling Engine, Hans! So you're still called Hans? This is it. This is where the signal came from. That child. In hollow boring machine Mark III Greta. We need the proxy to lead the search. Grace, describe the boring machine. Hardworking and capable and cute. <laughs> Just like Sweet Pea was when she was little. <sighs> Nobody has a clue what you're talking about. Okay, to put it in words the average human can understand, it's a machine responsible for excavating tunnels. To work faster, it's also equipped with a demolition saw used to tear down buildings. I thought the little thing would become more efficient after the update. I never thought she'd run off. Who even told you to do such an unnecessary update? It's more annoying than my laptop's constant updates. <sighs> you never talked like this when you were a kid. When you used to be so cute when you were little. Um, but it's normal to go through a rebellious phase growing up, right? Maybe the boring machine has just gotten a few rebellious ideas in its head. No, I won't allow it. Huh? I won't allow my cute children to become unruly, rebellious beasts. Midnight drag racing, deliberately scratching up their bodies, putting on massive stickers that are extremely difficult to clean, trying prohibited ether fuel mixtures, even imitating the old civilization cartoons and trying to merge with other machines! Calm down, Grace. It's still just a child. Proxy, we have to find it quickly. I just hope it isn't too late. Detecting heavy machinery signal. Syncing location data. The 
target signal is still active. It's currently... Huh. What's it doing? Let's go take a look. Ah, right. Take this. Uh, in hindsight, I should have packed more. We approach it. Scanning suitable exploration. Please bypass the current area. Thinking area info. Proxy, is this really a good path to take? Sorry, we had no other choice. We shouldn't provoke it. Just ignore it! Let's go! Hmm. This fellow seems a bit stubborn. We shouldn't provoke it. I've almost reached it! So close!
Grace, please allow me. I've almost reached it. So close. Shh. Don't draw the boring machine over here. idea. What's that? All right, everybody, cover your ears and stand aside. Using explosives to blast your way out? Calm down, everything's fine. Besides, look, aren't we right by our target? <sighs> Just don't be so reckless next time. Can I hear a girl's voice? Uh, up there! So it's you! The bad guys are trying to break up me and Mr. What? Oh, it's only been a couple of days, and yet our child has become a fabulous young lady. <laughs> uh, just take it easy now, Grace. But who's Mr. White? Uh, another machine? It's not that rundown building it's on, is it? Don't insult Mr. White! I'm staying here with Mr. White! So take back what you said! To protect its loved one, the boring machine... It somehow awakened this amazing power! Now's not the time for fangirling! Focus on dealing with it! What? Leave, Leave it to me! Impulse. Leave! Be gone! You 
has arrived. Children need lots of rest. Here we go. I got you back. Uh, move along. Uh oh, the fighting attracted some ethereals. You dare jump on Mr. White? Get your filthy hands off of him! Get away, you filth! Stop being so rude, or I'll. I told you not to touch him! You moldy turds just don't understand, do you? She's like a different person! Just unbelievable! Is this the power of a girl in love? What kind of love power allows the use of an ether electric hybrid 1400 kilogram demolition saw? Wait, Miss Boring Machine! That was. Uh, I'm so sorry, Mr. White! I got too excited! Mr. White! Hang in there, Mr. White! The impact just now. It cut through the load bearing wall. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. In fact, I should congratulate you. Huh? Now wait just a minute, Grace. Think about what you're saying. Oh no! Grace might know everything about machinery, but she's single as hell! She knows nothing about love! Lift up your head and look around. Mr. White is hugging you! Uh? Every building can only give one hug in its lifetime. He gave his to you. And he even drove off the ethereals. What a gentle building. You have good taste. <laughs> Don't be discouraged. We won't let you say goodbye to him just like that. Here, come back with us. Let's work together to rebuild Mr. White on new land. Hey, bro. Welcome back. Bellabog just contacted us. They said they're gonna send the first two machines to get serviced, then text us once Ben has the rough location of the pile driver. Sounds like it shouldn't take them too long to find the pile driver, but it's gonna be a minute. You should find something to do to pass the time, Wise.
Wise, do you want to call Bellabog? I'll dial the number. Hello, can you hear me? This is Faithen. Ah, uh, it's the two Faithens. Uh, how are you? Uh, I'm sorry to trouble you by calling in person. I'll jump straight into the commission details. This time, we'd like to ask your help in retrieving the Mark III in hollow industrial pile driver. The pile driver had been working diligently in the hollow before its disappearance, just like the other two machines. According to Grace, this machine is particularly good at moving across difficult terrain within the hollow, and it's faster than any other machine. That's maybe why it was able to run so deep into the hollow. Sorry to have kept you waiting while we tried to locate it. The good news is, its signal hasn't moved from where we first located it. I'll send you the data we've got. Looks like the pile driver has stopped somewhere. In that case, let's find the nearest hollow entrance before it moves again. Fairy, do you mind? Not at all. Generating root within the target hollow. Root generation complete. Wise, let's go and get this done. Whoa, this place feels even more bleak than the last hollow we went to. The ether concentration here is higher, too. Well, it has been a hollow for a long time. It's not just dangerous, it's also close to the old capital. No good will come of staying here too long. Let's just find that pile driver ASAP. The proxy said the pile driver isn't far ahead, so it shouldn't take too long to bring it back, right? Blind optimism can be dangerous, Anton. After all, the heavy-duty grappler and boring machine we found both experience pretty significant personality changes, and Grace has yet to find the reason behind it. <laughs> so what if it's changed? It's still our own company's smart machinery. How much trouble could it really cause? Let's get going. Target located. Proceed with the recovery. This guy's dramatic! Let's find a nearby detour. Quietly. No problem, boss. I'll crouch. <laughs> Have we been spotted? machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. Speculation. It intends to perform a pile-driving motion against the ground. Please clench your teeth while falling to avoid biting off your tongue. Watch out! You're gonna fall into the fissure! Uh, is everyone alright? Uh, I'm alright. We need to figure out a way to get back.
I'm here! <laughs> They're gone! Bring it on! You need more rest, Press. You're still growing. Come on! machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. Speculation. It intends to perform a pile driving motion against the ground. Hmm? Did I just repeat myself? Starlight Knights never get hit by the same attack twice. Unfortunately, Master, you are no Starlight Knight. <laughs> that old trick again? Cut it out! You think I'm gonna give up if you push me away again? Save it, Anton. Kill it in person. understand my hobby, Sweet Pea?
Abandoned building complex detected ahead. Confirmed. There is nowhere for it to go. Master, the target construction machine has been successfully surrounded. Should I broadcast some trash talk to insult it? Please choose a style. Vicious, nasty, or twisted. I can also alternate between 18 known languages. It. In Hollow Industrial Pile Driver Type 3, Friday! It's seen us. I wonder what personality this one's gonna have. No worries. We already convinced two problem children. It's time to hear what this guy has to say. It's charging at us without even a word? It. Uh... It's running? What are you all waiting for? Go after it! Uh, finally, we cut it off. Hold it there! We can't let it get away again! Come back! Bad, let me deal with it! Things are getting hot! been completely silent this whole time. Maybe his language module is broken? No way. They can obviously understand us. Okay. I know you can hear me. Let's talk. You ran away with two other machines. One was a dude who desires self-fulfillment, the other a young girl passionately in love. What about you? Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> what? Don't you have any weird character traits? How dare you? Huh? 
traits! Ridiculous! Mere mortals! How dare thee speak us out of turn about my most wondrous mission! I'm the enlightened sinner! I cometh to stabilize the seal and guard this place on my mentor's charge! Thou shalt leave at once! The enlightened sinner? Stabilize the seal? Ah, I get it. <laughs> so these are delusions of grandeur. Enough! <sighs> Do you have any idea how dangerous it is to go running around in a hollow? Thou art the unreasonable ones! The seal is weak, and once it is broken, this place shall be devastated! Say no more. I shall force my way through! Stop right there! My mentor, I cometh! It dodged! Ben, stop him! Uh, if possible, I'd like to solve this peacefully. I, I'm sorry! Great job, bro! Grace, now's our chance! I'm here. Leave it to me. <laughs> I appreciate your imagination, my child. But let's talk about it when we get back. Sis! The seal is breaking. Don't undermine my most wondrous cause! Wait! Let's talk! Stay away! <laughs> Turns out this guy can actually talk like a normal person. Listen to me. I'm not lying. I hear the calling from my mentor horse. I can't fail him! <sighs> What's going on? Why is he... mentioning that name? I can't even remember how long it's been since I heard his name. Horse Bellabog. Bellabog Industries, previous president, and my father. Kaleda, look! This is what Daddy told you about. Bellabog's first independently developed smart construction machine. This is a prototype you were talking about? When will you finish building it? Well, that'll take a whole lot of money. Money Daddy's company just doesn't have right now. Plus, we lack the production to build such powerful machinery. But don't worry. One day, my little girl will be riding in the machine her old man built. You know, it's not just any machine. It's got a heart your dad made in it. It'll be able to understand your commands and endure all the Hollow's dangers. <sighs> wow! Here, Kaleda, give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. Dad? You promised to play with me today! Kaleda, Daddy's busy right now. Bidding on the new project, the prototype's manufacturing fee, then there's the final review at Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. One minute, I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. Mm. <laughs> Liar. What? Mr. Bellabog, I'm sure you understand this will be better for all of us. Daddy... You want me to pretend like nothing happened? Are you kidding me? Just come out with it! What exactly is in there? Hello? Hello? Say something! It's so late. Where are 
are you going? I don't want to be home alone. I want to go with you. Oh, come on, Kalita, stop it. There's an emergency. I have to go now. Just stay at home and be good. Daddy will be back in no time. I promise. Just like that, he vanished. That liar. President? President? Uh, Ben, you were saying something? Yes, the commission is completed. Mr. Proxy came to collect their bamboo. We might have had some trouble along the way, but we've recovered all three machines. And with that, all the commissions Bellabug assigned you have been completed. We were able to get out of that tough spot, thanks to you. Thanks again for your help, Phaethon. Grace is analyzing the machines right now. With her skills, she should be able to find the reason that... Uh... What? You got something to say? There's something on my mind. When the pile driver mentioned the name Horse, he made an odd face. Uh, oh, uh, would you look at the time? Uh, <clears throat> President, if we don't go deal with that commission fee for Mr. Proxy now, we won't be able to transfer the money tomorrow. Ben, don't worry. It's okay. If we don't tell them, the Proxy could just look it up online. Besides, they helped us and they're trustworthy. We... Don't have to avoid it. Proxy, you saw Anton on that show before, right? Did the host mention years ago there was a scandal involving Bellabox president who disappeared with a bunch of money? Well, that president of Bellabog was Horse. Horse Bellabog. So, yes, he was my father. The night before the old capital fell, a large sum of money suddenly disappeared from Bellabog's accounts, and the old man went missing. Popsec investigated, and said the financial burden of Bellabog, coupled with the possibility the memorial square we were building at the time might not be completed on schedule, caused Horace to embezzle the public funds and run. Bellabog Industries had an extremely hard time because of one old man's irresponsible behavior. But we're back on our feet now. You've really been through a lot. I'm glad that you've turned the corner. Thank you. At any rate, I stopped thinking of Horse Bellabog as my father a long time ago. The Bellabog of today has nothing to do with that selfish piece of trash. Koleda, how could you talk about your own father like that? It's true a large sum of money was missing from the company's books, but no one can prove it was Uncle Horse who took it. The investigation result and the claims he absconded with the money were all just pub sex speculation. I know all the bad press brought about by public security and losing your father hurt you, but you shouldn't resent your own father like that. You were too young to spend much time with him before he went missing to us. You don't know how wonderful you... You're the one who doesn't know anything! <sighs> Uh, I think we're getting further away from just explaining to Mr. Proxy who Horse was. And Grace, weren't you and Anton working on those three machines? What are you doing here? I came over to tell you. I found a clue as to why they ran off. Oh, really? Great! Mm. After examining their logic cores, I found they'd all picked up the same signal from deep within a hollow before wandering off. The signal's identification code format is the same we use in the company. When decoded, the text reads, BLG Prototype. That's right, Kaleda. Unbelievable as it sounds, the signal seems to be coming from the original prototype. The prototype? Could you explain? 
It was the first smart machinery made before the former president went missing. Our production line was somewhat outdated at the time, so we couldn't complete manufacturing independently. Apart from the core parts, everything else was outsourced to another manufacturer and produced according to our blueprint. Unfortunately, the old capital fell before the final delivery payment was made, even though the machine was completed. <sighs> the manufacturer was swallowed by the hollow and lost forever, along with the prototype. But it looks like the prototype is out there somewhere, and maintains some level of functionality. You may not like what I'm about to say, Sweet Pea. I know you don't want to drag up the past, but that prototype is still company property. That prototype logic core has a lot of value. So what are you gonna do? Go get it back? Or pretend it doesn't exist? <laughs> Calm down, guys. There's no need to jump to conclusions today. Even the most durable components can experience mechanical fatigue. Not to mention, we're all human. After running around in the hollow for so long, both our bodies and minds need relaxation. Uh, Anton's right. It's getting late. Uh, you must be tired. Mr. Proxy, please, go back and rest for today. If we decide to head into the hollow to look for the prototype, we'll be sure to contact you for assistance. <laughs>